This is another future value problem. So we're depositing some money today at $6,000 and we're asking the question uh, how much we'll have in, a, in an account 18 years from now. So we are looking for a future value. The tweak to this problem though is right here. So this is an account that uses daily compounding and so all that means is that um, every single day while the money is in the account interest will be calculated and paid and so today's interest compounds on yesterday's interest and so on and so to solve this problem we're still going to use the same uh, idea here with our with our formulas we're still going to be thinking that the FV is a PV times a 1 plus a discount rate times an N the catch is our N needs to be a number of periods and the R needs to be a periodic rate. So what, what's the period? Well the period is one day. So let's do our conversions. So the period equals one day so there's 365 of those per year. And so our number of periods is going to equal 18 years times 365, which is equal to 6,570. Our periodic rate is the annual interest rate of 4.8%, so 0 0.048, divided by the number of periods per year. And so that's 365. And so this, uh, at least showing six decimals, is 0 0.000132 per day. All right, so these are the important inputs. Now let's do the math. So the FV, and the FV is not 18, it's going to be FV, think of it as 6570 because there would be 6570 ticks on our timeline. That's how many days are in 18 years. Um, that is going to equal 6000 times 1 plus the periodic rate and just to avoid errors from rounding, I'm just gonna, I'm going to write it like this: 0 0.048 divided by 365, and I'll enter it into my calculator exactly like that, so that when my calculator divides that, the uh, unrounded number will go into my calculations, and then I'm going to raise this to the 6570 power. And so the answer becomes $14,234.98. So there's our FV after 18 years.